So I'd, I'd like to start shooting Frankie, but Jimmy here <laughs> has decided that he wants to be in the show. Hey, hey, I, there's a cat. Why? You know, Alf, because uh, I got some suggestions. Hey, everyone, it's me again. So the show's been going on long enough now that I thought it might be fun to have a look at some really early like test footage and camera tests that I shot uh, even before I had the puppets that are ended up in the show. Uh, so a lot of this stuff is like me figuring stuff out and seeing if the equipment I had would work or if the space I had would work, that kind of thing. Because uh, it all kind of added up to being the show that you know. And uh, then we'll end it out with some uh, bloopers and outtakes because things rarely go as planned. So uh, I thought it might be fun to have a look at some of that stuff and see that, yeah, I mess up a lot. This first piece is uh, the very first camera test I did. Uh, and this was before I got any of the puppets for the show. Everything was still in planning. I had no idea what the characters were really going to be. Uh, and at the time, I didn't have any puppets except for this one Muppet Whatnot that I got at FAO Shorts in New York City years ago. His name's Andy Wartroll. Um, but this was the very first uh, on-camera puppeteering that I'd ever done. Everything I'd done until now uh, had been practicing, you know, looking at my hand or working in the mirror. But this is the first, like, proper Muppet-style monitor camera thing that I ever did. And, you know, it's recorded for posterity. And you'll see it's pretty rough. But uh, you will recognize the beginnings of a certain character's voice in this one. So, um, here we go. Okay, uh, so uh, I guess, uh, I guess the point is, this is a camera test. Let's see, uh, boy, this lighting's terrible. We gotta, we gotta do something about this lighting. Also, this is like not a good backdrop. I, I can't, what is with, what is with that? What is, there's a, there's a robot. Did you know, did, it, did you know there's a, there's a robot? The first professional puppet that I got was a little dude from Bay State Creature Shop, who only recently got introduced to the show as the marketing intern, Wesley. Uh, as I was setting up what was going to be the studio space, I determined that to get the best kind of cinematic look, uh, shooting at 24 frames per second was preferable. And uh, this was the very first camera test I did with the studio uh, and lighting with the, uh, the only puppet other than the Muppet Whatnot that I had at the time. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe! Uh, isn't there, uh, isn't there normally a, like a video that goes around this call to action stuff? No? Right for marketing, huh? Alright, I want to talk to the SEO guy. While I was still figuring out exactly what the characters were going to be, I found this wonderful builder on uh, Etsy named Ezekiel, who makes these fantastic uh, monster puppets. And uh, uh, I ordered one, and it uh, showed up, and so I took it out of the box, put it in front of a camera, and as you'll see, it ended up looking a little bit different than this, but this is uh, minutes out of the box for a certain green goblin. Alright, uh, here we go. So, hi. Uh... The first thing is, uh, we're testing this at, uh, 4K60, okay, and, uh, this is the telephoto lens. Seems okay. Uh, now my first problem is I don't know what my name is. <clears throat> Did anybody know what my name is? Anyone? Now, after some hair augmentation, uh, a pair of new arms, and a new costume, he eventually became the Oracle that we know and love, and was ready for his first screen test. Alright. Alright. I'm going. Let's see. Center. Find it. Get your head out of the frame. What's wrong with you? Alright. This is my screen test. This, um, this isn't my staff. This is a stick. My staff is a magical staff. This is a stand-in staff. 
One of the challenges in shooting Frankie is that he's uh, basically big and heavy, and it's uh, sometimes difficult to position around the desk, and I knew I wanted him sort of sitting at a desk, so uh, eventually I uh, just stuck him in front of a camera in my office, and uh, this is his first camera test. Ugh. This is, uh... Well, I guess this ain't bad. But, uh... We probably gotta work on this. Anyway, this is what the thing is. Okay, bye. And of course, no matter how much you practice, you will occasionally get things wrong. So uh, here are some outtakes, along with some uh, raw footage that was uh, shot before any video effects were added. Why can I hear you but not see you? Not good, I'm really off center. Let's try that again. Yeah, yeah, hang on. I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, keep your robe on. I'm coming. Taco truck. Yeah, yeah, keep your robe. No. Behold me in my wizardly splendor. I bring sublime knowledge from the... Th 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 Good point. People freak out if a game is delayed. Can you imagine if... Oh yes, and uh, if you have a question for the Oracle, you can leave it in the comments or you can email Oracle that I'm ahead in the shot. Very well. But I've got my eye on you. It is I, Mario! I still think I'm a little bright, but... Uh... That's just the nature of trolls. <laughs> hey, Gary, is that you? What you doing in New Orleans, man? Hey, come on over here. I'll introduce you to some people. Oh, hey, you're the Oracle. That's right. Oh, this is a real honor, sir. I'm a big fan of your work. Oh, um, thank you very much, young man. I like this one. Hire him. Blue screen, Frankie for the zombie episode. Hey, how you doing? Gotta get framed up here. You want a good wide shot? So we, uh, we hope this is okay. Get a frame! These amateurs, you know what I mean? So there we go. As you can see, uh, mistakes happen. It takes quite a lot of editing to get the final product out the door, but uh, I really enjoy making it. I hope you enjoy watching it, and we'll see you again.